I can never take these parts seriously. I'm so sorry. What's up, guys? Come on in. This is, uh, this is my studio. This is where I work out of. And uh, this is also where I live, but I kind of just really work out of here. Let's, uh, let's take a look around. Okay, so um, this is like the front. This is where you guys walked in. It's like the front door. Um, and I post a lot of things up here on the walls. It's from All of these are from projects and from vlogs and from stuff that I worked on. And I work really hard on it. So if there's wall space, it gets pinned up on the wall. There's also some studio weaponry, which isn't like the best, but you know, I got a baseball bat. We have an axe mounted on the wall. Um, this is an art installation I'm working on kind of thing. It's basically uh, a bunch of just, dis we have a bunch of disposable cameras that sit next to the front door. Um, so when uh, windows get filled, they're gonna go up on these walls. Everything's gonna move and it's gonna hopefully go all the way up. That's, that's the plan. Um, all these are from uh, summer of 2019. This is St. Louis when I was there. This is Wisconsin, New York, uh, Jersey, Connecticut. It's my cat. It's my grandmother. That's me filming a documentary about my grandmother. Um, so that's that. Uh, we have a mic set up for a room mic because we do a bunch of recording and stuff in here. And uh, oh, very important, the Boring Company fire extinguisher. I really want to own a Tesla. I can't afford a Tesla, so this is the best I got right now. So. Uh, Okay, uh, this here is like the control room slash like heart, I guess, of the studio. Um, this is where I work. I sit here every day. I like to sit in front of the window because of natural light. Unlike right now, just normally sunlight and just natural light. Um, and everything I would need uh, throughout my day, I keep posted around my my uh, my desk here. I have pens and sharpies and tape and scissors. Um, my hard drives all sit right here. There's two over there. The most important ones. The least important ones get posted up there, so I can still grab them if I have to. But they're a little bit more out of the way. Um, I got my special fridge just in case, because you never know. Um, and this camera sits here all the time. Instead of having to pick up my vlog camera every time I want to uh, film while I'm here at my desk, I have this one. It just sits here, and it's actually all, it's always plugged in, ready to go, with an SD card in there at any given time. Okay, let's talk about equipment. This here is the equipment locker. Um, there used to be two more doors here, and I didn't like how it looked with them open, so I took them out, but you can just do this if you have to get in there, so um, that works. Um, I got yelled at a lot by people that work with me to, to um, clean this up, so I did. It took a bunch of hours and hard work. I don't throw away any boxes, as you can see. Um, but we have all the audio stuff here, some audio stuff on top here, camera stuff we keep. <sighs> We keep the red here, which is very important. Um, and then we have charging. All the chargers sit right here and you live here. Um, so at a quick glance, you can see what's charging and what's not charging. Um, you can also see kind of what cameras are out kind of based off what batteries aren't there. Okay, then we go to this side of the, the equipment space. Uh, this is extra audio stuff microphones, uh, adapter for microphone stands, stuff like that. Bunch of miscellaneous stuff, batteries, extra cables, stuff like that. And then we got more XLRs and stuff that is not pinned up on the wall. Uh, it's a cool sound, isn't it? Um, this is a guitar rack here, so all the guitar wireless units uh, start and end, kind of end there. Okay, let's head out there. This here is the boosted board wall, um, or section. Um, I'm really proud of this. Uh, the idea is if friends come by the studio, they can take a board and go out, or we can all take boards and go out and hang out, and it's sometimes nicer than driving around because, well, it's, it, it's, it's fun. Um, this is my drum set. Um, You'll see this around a lot in the studio here. I like to like surround myself with a lot of the people that influenced me to start what I do kind of thing. So um, this drum set's modeled off the uh, Dave Matthews drummer, Carter Beaufort. It's my take on his kit. So that's that. Um, I feel like I should point that out since I 
pointed it out, some of the some of my influences. We have Casey Neistat's movie poster up there. Um, I bootleg printed that myself uh, because I could. Uh, we have a Dan Mace thing I just hand drew that's in his intro that I used. And then there's one more in the kitchen. Let's go there. Sorry that it's, I, I know it's messy, I'm sorry. Um, this here is the kitchen. I know it's nothing really exciting, but I'm, I, I like it. Uh, this here is Tom Sachs. He's a really cool artist who lives in New York City. I liked, I like a lot of his work. I have never been able to afford any of his work, but I like it. So I decided that I will put something up there. Uh, Dave Matthews poster is the second one in here and definitely not the last one in here. A lot of my friends like, uh, the kitchen here a lot because I keep it stocked with soda, booze, and water, which which I guess is nice. This is something I'm also really proud of. It also just shows that I waste my money on a lot of things, is the garbage can. I feel like I have to point this out. Uh, here, check this out. Open can. I think this is just really cool. I like that. So, uh, yeah, this is, the, this is my studio. This is where I work. Um, I gotta get back to work. You guys gotta go. See ya. Is that okay?